Hi guys, I am Crenzo November and this is my colleague um, Razor X. So hi Razor. How's it, how's it guys? Yeah, we are here to review an awesome product for you. It is done by Sonic Gear and it's called the Titan 9. It is a 2.1 speaker system and we don't know anything about this, but let's unbox it, review it, taste it, and we'll let you guys know about it now. Awesome. Hi guys, as promised, I am back. Now let's see what is in the box. It's a big box today. So firstly, what do we have? Instruction manual for those who don't know how to set up the sound. You do need to go through this. But it is fair and simple, so we can check that one. <laughs> <laughs> Batteries for the remote. Very important because you don't want to sit without power so you can't change your song when you're running on Bluetooth or whatever. A cable for the FM radio. So you can you've got your AM FM radio receiver. So you've got an antenna, you can go frequency radio. Brilliant. Because who wants to listen to your own downloaded tunes anyway? <laughs> ah, some meat. Packed. Now what do we have here? Like I said, remote control. Because you do need to change your stuff remotely. Because having to get up off your bed when you're listening to some good music or something like that to change your volume stuff, it's not really that... Uh, not viable. So, here we go, remote controller. Let's put it down there. Speaker number one. Speaker number two. What is nice, each speaker has got a single sound cable um, for left and right, and obviously a second cable to carry the power for the lights. This all plugs into the back of the sun. That over there. Ooh, what do we have here? A 2RC83 millimeter jack cable. Plug it into your PC, plug it into your phone, whatever you need to play through it. There you go, there's your aux cable. And then, oh, here's the big bad boy. Oh! The Titan 9 subwoofer. With all the connections at the back and oh, look what I found. USB and SD card memory card input. The SD MMC input with a USB. So you don't need to connect it to a device to have it. You can just plug in your USB and there you go, you're sorted. So that's the sub. Power cable. Now we're left with a box. Bye bye box. Let me set this up and show you guys what it sounds like. Hey, oh, here comes a danger up in this club. When we get started, man, we ain't gonna stop. We gon' turn it out till it gets too hot. Everybody sing, hey, yo, oh, tell them turn it out till they can't no more. Let's get this thing shaking like a disco ball. This is your last one and a courtesy call. Hi guys, like I said, I'm testing out this uh, Titan 9 from Sonic Gear. This little speaker system is quite amazing. What the mic couldn't possibly pick up is the bass that was produced out of this unit. It is, sound quality is quite amazing for a little unit like this. So, as you can see, full remote control, you don't need to leave your bedside to be able to do it. I'm playing this through the PC now, so my music is controlled by my PC. But like I said, this little system, you, you don't expect what is coming out of this, out of the price point of what you're actually paying for. Um, I will get back to the price point and everything like that, and all the pros and cons. As you can see, it's supporting 
lighting system, everything like that. Which, as you know, any form of colored lights just makes makes everything look better around your PC, your room, everything like that. Looks wise, this is an amazing unit. Just look at it. It's sexy. Well, I was blown away. I was only, only finding my way back now. <laughs> yes, uh, he had to um, clean out his ears. So I think he popped a nerve or something. But anyways, we'll get back to you guys shortly with the review. En hij het display wat ik kan zien precies wat je nodig hebt, wat je speel alles wat ze input je hebt. En hij lijkt echt over het topic, hij simplified. Oké. Now you've just seen us unbox and test the Sony Gear Titan 9, which is an amazing little system. A recap, this is what it looks like. Ooh. Yes. Now, price point. What do you expect to pay for something like this? You're looking at a price point of a uh, thousand and fifty rand to a um, thousand two hundred rand. Depends on where you buy it. You know, some places can be overpriced. Which is on international viewers yet again. That's seventy two to seventy five dollars. That is not bad. Now, on to looks and sound quality, Razer. Okay, looks like you you, you saw on, 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 on the video. Um, it's it's amazing. The glossiness of it, it's perfect. Um, the RGB lightning is amazing. You can put it in your room and you're gonna fall asleep with it next to you. It's it's insane. Um, and I have to say, the lighting isn't too of a flashy type of thing. So your 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 room where your PC is or in a in a more of a comfort zone, it's not gonna look like a disco. Um, and the functions on it, the mode settings in front, the knob, in, the knob that's in front, it's big, you can easily reach it, small fingers, big fingers, or whatever, you can get to it. You can see your functions in, on, 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 in front very easily, and also USB connection that's on top, it's easy to get, get, get all of them, and it's not in the way. So you don't have some weird thing here, like a flash drive sticking out from the front, like almost a meter, and you, you're afraid of bumping and things like that. So it's hard away, it's hidden away, and it is perfect. Okay, now on features of the unit. It's got lights in front, which are subtle. It doesn't, it's not overpowering light, so you won't get blinded by it while you're gaming and everything trying to focus. It's a very subtle light, but perfectly done. It supports Bluetooth. It supports USB input. It supports an SD memory card input. It's got AUX input, and it's got antenna radio. So frequency radio, it's got also which is, some people like to listen to their data on radio, listen to the news on the radio, or listen to certain talk shows as well. So you can do that. And with it, subtle features is the best way to go because something that's overpowering and you've got these too many sharp edges and weird looks, it's not, you're not gonna like it. You're gonna like it maybe for months, maybe three months. After that, you're gonna be like, why did I buy this? So for a little system like this, it is amazing. Yes, it might not be the world's best, but it's pretty damn close. Give them another year, two years, they'll be able to sit there with the big boys like Harman Card and Bose, just to mention some. But if I had to rate it against any brand at the moment, it's against Logitech. It's against your um, your Astrum sound, against your uh, Red Dragon sound. It even goes against Cougar and your thermal take speakers, which is a bold statement. So for the price point of $72 or 1050 bucks, it is something to look at. Do yourself a favor, go to um, check it out on the website, see what it boasts, go check it out at your local IT store, get yourself one, you will not be disappointed. Now for our Evolution Gaming rating of approval. Yeah. Okay, for this unit, we are giving it a whopping eight, 8 out of 10. And as you know, our rating system, how it works, 8 out of 10 is up there with the big boys. 10 out of 10 you never get because nobody is perfect. And if you get a 5, you might as well dump it in the trash. And go buy this one. Exactly. So 8 out of 10, there we go. 
We will see you guys next time. Keep an eye out for the next video. And we will see you in the afterlife. Cheers.